Hello, Peace Fiends. My name is Bora, and I am a energy reader, multi-dimensional channel, and the Peace Healer has agreed to help me spread my work a little bit. Calling you a Peace Fiend because, you know, the Peace Dealer, Peace Fiend, I think that's really funny. But if you don't find it funny, I'm so sorry. I have a weird sense of humor. So here I'm going to read your energy, but centering around your rising sign because in esoteric astrology, your ascendant slash your rising sign is your gateway towards ascension and following the higher traits of each of your ascendant signs is going to really balance out your whatever other complex you have going on as a human. So in attempt to kind of help you highlight those qualities and have you focus a little bit more on your ascendant than your sun sign or your moon sign as you might usually do uh, that is my desire so looking at energy and looking at your complex which is the astrological sign and without this body of astrology we wouldn't have this experience of time right because they're the ones that kind of fragment this timeless continuum into having with their electromagnetic fields I'm kind of warping that timelessness into this structure so it definitely is valid and people who don't understand the val validity of these planetary bodies I, I don't know I feel bad for them hey fire signs so this video is for you if your rising sign or ascendant is in fire not your sun sign but your rising sign and i should have explained that in the intro i'm just wearing a different outfit in a different setting because it's a different day <laughs> so let's get into your reading So with your energy here for your month, I feel that you feel a little, you're, you're gonna take on a lot of transformations of course and energies, and you're gonna find yourself feeling a little bit depleted if you're not careful. Um, you're gonna come across situations where you're trying to please other people, and these are very um, subtle things. So whether that's like, accepting an invitation to a place when you don't really feel like going out and you want to be a good friend so you go out with them that's a, a minor example and it's going to come up very um subtly that you find yourself you know going out of your way to do things for other people projecting that their needs are more important than you so that's one thing that i want to ask you to identify when it comes up because you don't want to keep doing that you need to start empowering yourself and understanding that how you are and who you are and what you truly desire is enough of a benevolence that you don't need to do anything more to prove yourself to be of service or benevolent if that makes any sense and what you also really need to realize is that your state of being your frequency has always to be number one whether you are working on a very serious life mission or you're in a healing type of business if you're not of the highest frequency and if you're not enjoying your life to the fullest if you don't have an abundant flow of resources if you don't have enough rest in excuse for this mission or service then how are you going to perform those services and how is the quality of that work going to be affected by your frequency your frequency always has to be the number one priority so even if there's deadlines and even if you feel like there's a tons of different people wanting tons of different things from you just know that you have the right to prioritize your well-being first um, this goes especially if you're in a workplace and you have things to get done and sometimes you might feel guilty not having this they make you feel like you have to put in a certain amount of hours but how can your work be qualified if you're a high frequency individual it's very much possible that when you work on your frequency you're actually 
syncing the universe with you as well so there's an entire force working with you so you don't necessarily have to feel like you're going at it alone or that you have a limited amount of time because what you're doing is actually bending time and space when you're really catapulting your frequency Um, one thing that came up when I was shuffling was that breath work and doing, you know, breath work, pranayama, whatever you call any type of breath work is very beneficial for you to go through this. And this actually also comes from your need to deprogram this emotion of guilt um, because there's a tinge of guilt whenever you feel like you're, you're just caring about yourself or that you're not meeting other people's needs immediately um you really want to take a look at that because it's a low frequency emotion that shouldn't be arising if you're in a in a higher state of mind so a good book to read upon going through this energy would be david hawkins whether you read power versus force or letting go those two i really recommend if you're very advanced and you're able to read high calibration texts. I would also recommend The Eye of the Eye. The Eye, E Y E of the Eye, like I. And just reading texts like that is going to really help you understand these emotional calibrations that are very real. You know, emotional emotions are actually quantifiable, and so. you can get this level of self-awareness about your emotions and work with it to you know progress on this soul's journey what i see here actually is that you have this immense creative energy this month it's a very fertile period and whatever you like it, it's a very masculine period in terms of like taking action and there's so much inspiration coming to you that you don't really know how to channel all of it. I think that's why a part of you feels like this depletion because you feel like you just need to do so much. But just trust and have faith that whatever you end up actually having time for is the ideal critical mass point of the ideal amount of action. Um, not always that you should execute everything that you could possibly think of just think back to your life and imagine all the things that you wanted to pursue or like create if you had created all of those some of them would just be so ridiculous right now um so you know imagine if you're getting tattoos and you got every tattoo that you ever wanted you probably regret half of that so it's good that you didn't do everything and so it's the same way with um, all these ideas that you have i think you're kind of having a hard time really deciding you know what do i need to do and there's so much i want to do and so also understand that this elimination factor of not having enough time is actually universe's natural way of showing you what's not necessary at this point and half of what's necessary is always inner work oh god see allow flow and synchronicity in your life so if you if you let go of this resistance that you have to execute everything and that you know when you feel like you have so much to do and you don't know how to get it done you're not kind of giving the universe credit for being able to meet you halfway it can meet you halfway it can you can, it can magnetize around you a, a network of synchronicities that will allow you to just do what is being needed but first of all to, to be in that receptive mode of this universe your frequency your own frequency has to be prioritized because in order to align with this higher calibration of this intelligence you have to have a high frequency so prioritize that and don't um think you know if, if part of you is thinking oh 
part of you is thinking that you know if you end up manifesting all these synchronicities that you will not get the credit for what you did um i feel like that's a level of somebody's psyche that's coming up here is that kind of concern um don't worry about that please it's really just a nothing to worry about it's it, it's far below your your usual level of cognition if you, if those thoughts creep up hmm. fearlessly go for what you want and and understand that whatever is the highest good for all parties involved will manifest and you will attract the right team i see that you're going to be working on these things with your soul family you and they're going to give you a level of support and you know that's also why you don't have to do everything by yourself you're going to really start to see what it means to have this divine life's mission project with numbers of people who can really help you energetically and physically um what you should also focus on is developing a level of mental clarity because a lot of the times you try to go at it from a space where you just feel like there needs to be action and with a disorganized mind you just like to push ahead but it's time for you to really step back and realize that from a space of mental clarity the same action that you take is going to be twice as effective because of the place where where the action came from you have to realize that every time you give an action you have to have the fertile soil for that to sprout and your mental kind of body and the state of your mental body because it's just a very fine energetic you know interface in which the action springs from it's literally programming the further action that is being taken on this dimension so it's almost like if you feel like you're so busy to clean up <laughs> or like clean your room sometimes or clean your house that level of business is like you're literally tricking yourself you know your physical environment it has to be at a clear state for you to actually thrive even if you leave the house it's going to be in the back of your subconscious mind that that things are not clear so it's always a good idea to not procrastinate this clarity state this clearing state you have to clear just as much as you would meditate your physical space mental space and you know your emotional space and i think that's what's really important for you to do is learn to balance and temper this creative fire that i think you have so much creative spark and you you're not sure how to balance that out with you know releasing your mental body releasing your emotional body and your physical space and that will actually help you um, come up with solutions that are outside of the linear mind outside of the linear cognition and overcome any challenges that seem almost impossible because if you're going at it pushing through things from a linear perspective you'll only find linear solutions but when you surrender to this higher intelligence you will come up with this quantum levels of solutions to things and synchronicities like i said and that goes for anything else in your life such as relationships personal growth spiritual growth um whatever you're currently working on i love how i just said relationships and this relationship card came up so i think that is very possible for some of you guys to be working on the uh, relationship and as a spiritual person i can tell you a lot of the times people who are so dedicated on the spiritual path they're not really prioritizing relationships especially romantic relationships and sometimes even friendships because they're so focused on this inner journey but when you get to a certain level you learn that it's time for you to now demonstrate your internal journey outwards by interacting with other people in a divine manner and it's very much more difficult for a lot of people who are comfortable with introversion is you know there's such visceral mirrors to who you are and they can really reflect things about yourself that you know you could not possibly pay attention to on an internal level because it's a very the internal journey is very much of a macrocosmic perspective to your consciousness 
compared to the relationships that you have they're like zoomed in you know um you you notice energies on a zoomed scale so i think that's actually um one of your kind of challenges versus biggest wins this month if you can really pay attention to that so whenever you even um whenever you're even dealing with relationships whether that's friends and family and romantic partner potentially you also want to approach this with a level of mental clarity and your emotional clarity and also physical clarity see if you're tripping about somebody in your life make sure that your surroundings are harmonious that your mental body is harmonious and that your emotional body is clear and then when you perceive the same relationship from this clear energetic space it will be much easier to navigate through them and nurture them because um, you want to nurture these relationships that you because it also comes up with this card of soul family and shared mission none of your relationships that you're attracting at this point of awakening in terms of you know this certain timeline that you're going through especially if you're tuned into this video on this channel you're likely on a very advanced spiritual path compared to the rest of humanity and at this stage the relationships that you attract are not just by coincidence it's not just for entertainment it's not just for some sort of awakening process it's actually for the next level of working on something together shared mission shared collective people who've worked on these missions before countless times in previous lifetimes the last card you have here is connect your deepest inner knowing and so it's asking you to tune into a mental state of mind that you're always going to have this space where you can connect to the levels of yourself that really know things and you have to understand that there is a difference between knowing and and understanding it's funny that i just said you have to understand you have to comprehend that there's a difference between knowing and understanding knowing is this deep inner space of allowing things to be what they are and understanding is very cognitive so knowing would actually be non-linear and knowing is more of a frequency of transcendence versus intellect and take action from that space so when you can develop this you know transcendence way of perceiving and you understand that the human subjectivity is always a partial truth no matter how complete it feels because you're looking at this life from a human vessel everything is just a partial relative truth nothing is absolute that you can possibly experience unless you choose to mirror your awareness with awareness and that's a very pure state but it doesn't last for more than it needs to because we're here in this dimension for a reason we are not here to just be 12th dimensional um so from that space of assuming your distortion of perception and therefore aligning with the level of yourself that is not distorted which is ironic but it does happen then you can take action and be persistent you know this persistence is actually coming up twice this is resilience and this is persistence so this month no matter what comes your way just intend to be persistent in achieving this goal there's a main goal that you have there's a main theme and i know that you have one that when i say there's a main thing you want to overcome or change in your life there has to be one thing that comes to your mind do not do not waver your faith that you're going to overcome it this month at least energetically that if you look back at it in a, from a month from now you will see the shift in perspective at least at how you look at this issue that it's not going to be the same anymore after this month and you know that shift in perspective is actually the root cause of any situation in life so when you can shift your perspective everything else shifts um 
no matter what it takes i need you to have faith that you're going to like there's no way it's going to unfold otherwise that you're not going to change this aspect of your life and you know when i'm uploading this i think tomorrow is this full moon and um it's got that energy of really learning this deep life lesson so it is a perfect time for that and if you're watching it after that which probably it will be uploaded in october but still it's this uh, same energy that that i'm receiving that i'm transmitting to you now it's like a same thing the last card you have here is let love in and you know we were just talking about this need for relationships and deeper connections so i think a part of you always kind of pushes away subconsciously no one does it consciously that you know if people are offering you love people are offering you companionship there's a level of you that that is very much triggered with this vulnerability that you have to get into because obviously you know experiences with third dimensional relationships in the past or fourth dimensional right now um it ha maybe hadn't been the best but you should you should um notice it work around it and start to let it in because that's just one of the ways that your higher selves bless you with the love that they have for you is through these external figures so they're not separate from that level of you okay i'll read a couple more cards did i read this akashic one already Um, another message that I have for you to be this month extremely gentle with yourself first of all um, pay attention to how you talk to yourself and what you consume you know and what you think even just even the music you listen to I would say go for more gentle things just be sensitive to what you do So this is so interesting because the central kind of card you have here is 16 card in the ruins and this talks about this trapped situation that you're in that we were just talking about this there's one thing that you want to change in your life and it's actually the cause of you not being able to experience the fullest abundance and the fullest amount of love and um, it, it, it all has to do with your perception and that's exactly the message that you're having this is the prince of swords and it's a slight tweak in this perception and your willingness to persist through this this month is like you need to look at this realize that this is self-imposed because that's the meaning of this this arcana is that you're caught in the ruins but it's a self-imposed system of thinking and you have exactly at this moment the power to overcome this so that's so important for me to tell you because what you will get gain out of this destruction of this you know mental structure emotional structure that you kind of put yourself in to i guess protect yourself and not be vulnerable to what life has to offer so you have this closed-mindedness about certain things where you have this kind of apathy towards things working out in a certain way because you're afraid that if it doesn't come true then you will be heartbroken but let me tell you something your heart will break anyway that's just the condition of the human is to have your heart human heart broken over and over again until it aligns with the united consciousness this is un unity consciousness and this one heart um and the means to get there is by experiencing those so don't be so resistant to the possibility because the worst is already over you've experienced any possible painful situation that you've possibly 
could have experienced and you're fine, you're alive, you're watching this and I'm sure you're okay, right? Like, I'm sure you're better than ever actually. And so you need to drop these walls and as a result of that, you will have this offer of love and you will have this abundance. Like you don't understand, this is all the same energy that's going to just rush into your life as soon as you let go of these walls and if you're wondering how the hell can I do that how, how can I climb out of this I have a couple of suggestions for you number one is EFT is emotional freedom technique it works wonders for people who are energetically sensitive so then basically you say certain affirmations that are supercharged um, while you tap on radiant points and you can search that on YouTube or like buy books on it. It's like a whole branch of, you know, holistic healing. Um, another thing I said before, I think before I even started reading your cards was breath work, right? So definitely do that, breath work. Um, you could start with, I'll give you two recommendations. One of them is called the Sacred G Breath. You can search that on YouTube. Sacred G Breath. And the other one is, um, you could try Wim Hof method, uh, breathing method. And it's not a spiritual breathing technique by any means, he's a biohacker, for God's sake. But <laughs> it's, um, it activates your DMT and it really ox oxygenizes your body and it, it's going to change your physiology like immediately. So do that. And the third thing I will say is, for those of you who would resonate with this message and who like reading books is to read A Course in Miracles because A Course in Miracles it's not like something that I would recommend to everybody trust me but when it comes to a certain line of energy that I see in a reading that there just needs to be a correction of perception and there's like a layer of a perception that is blocking you from this realization of infinity that's A Course in Miracles. <laughs> so, if you read it already, return to it. Um, if you haven't, it will change your perception for sure. So, those are the three things that I recommended. Um, and for some of you who don't get that much exercise, I would recommend Qigong because it's not like a very strenuous exercise, but it, it, it works with your energy body, so I think it'll really help you calibrate yourself to this level of really dropping away from this. <laughs> I don't know what to say, like ego. It's such a cliche word, but that's what it is. Like a uh, false ego. Um, I hope that this reading has been helpful. Please let me know if you liked this reading by commenting or liking the video. And if you have any questions, you can just comment below because this is not my channel. So I'll read the comments later. Thank you guys. Love you. Bye.